Stock Pulse Newsroom, we are talking Argentina Lithium, that's LIT, Toronto Venture Exchange, PNX, LF, OTC Markets in the States. Here is they announced some positive results here from the third and fourth drill holes at Rincon West. And I've got Miles right out here, the VPX, to run through it here. So, Miles, uh, good to see you, as always, here. Uh, some more positive results here for the company. I want you to run through the highlights for investors. Thanks very much for having me. So, we, we uh, conducted our geophysics on Rincon West earlier this year. Uh, in uh, March, I believe. And we began our drilling at late April and we're currently on our fifth drill hole, just finishing the fifth drill hole. Each hole's taking about a month to complete. And so um, we've been, initially we were drilling down the east side of the property and um, we'd previously announced the results from drill holes one and two, both of which um, encountered thick intersections of of brines with values in the range um well the first intersection i think was uh 245 milligrams per liter up to i think 380 or so milligrams per liter and um we we stepped out our third drill hole we we carried on a large step to the south 1.8 kilometers so a bit more than a mile to the south and we are still in lithium brines down there but the sedimentary sequence is not is not wet the same way we saw further north, and we only get into the brines once we get into the underlying rock units. So I would have said that that signica, signifies for us that we're near the the southern edge of our basin on that third drill hole. So for the fourth drill hole, we went back north. And we we did an infill hole between one and two, because uh, that was quite a large step as well. There, there was um, a mile between the two of them, and um, and that was our drill hole number four. And the results there, uh, it's an excellent intersection. It's uh, 132 meters, with grades ranging from 334 to 382 milligrams per liter lithium. So those results are very similar to the results which have been announced by Rincon Mining with their large resource to the east of us and with uh, Argosy uh, Minerals with their resource to the east of us. Uh, so it's this, the same type of, or same range of values that we expect on, you know, in, in the core of the, the Salt Lake. Um, what, well, the other thing that results from that hole is um, we can see that the sedimentary host material which is basically um, medium-grained sands and gravels. They're extremely permeable and porous and a very good um, host for production wells. So my, my view is with that string of, of drill holes out on the east side of the property, we're um, outlining or we've crossed um, a basin. The basin has dimensions. Well, we've proven that it's at least 1,600 meters across. And I, looking at the at the setting, I think it's probably more than that. I think it's probably at least uh, 2,300 meters across. And uh, what we've done with our fifth hole, and I don't have the results from the fifth hole yet, but it's, it's near completion. Um, we've gone far to the southwest in the basin. Um, we've stepped out 2.3 kilometers, so a mile and a quarter or so. And um, we've put a, a deep hole down there. And we will be announcing those results, and um, in say in a month or so. And um, but what we're we're doing with this program is we're delineating this this um, aquifer in a sandy, gravelly basin. We've got the same kinds of brines, the same um, concentration of brines that we see in in the Salt Lake to the east of us, and. These are excellent mid-grade uh, lithium brines in excellent host material for pumping. Um, th with our fifth hole completed, I have uh, I can drill up to four more holes with our exploration permit. I'm recommending to the company that we continue to drill. Uh, we have, um, uh, in order to define our resource in this basin, I want to push the the you know, delineate where the edges of the basin are, if possible. So that means um, I'll be extending our drilling to the north. We'll be announcing our results to the west. And I also want to do some infill drilling in the 
in the central portion of the property, you know, w- within this basin to, um, to, to sort of flesh out the resource and make it so that we can we can produce uh, good values uh, you know, with confidence when we announce our resource next year. Yeah, quite the update there. So I guess uh, a month away, we'll we'll learn about uh, uh, some more holes here, and then um, through the end of the year, we'll finish those last ones and then look for the refor. We'll probably, if if we're going for nine holes, I think that we'll be drilling on on this part of Rincon West until the end of February. It's taking about a month for each hole. And I'll just make the the note as well. Um, since we last spoke, uh, we've made two property acquisitions in Rincon. We added on a a block to the east over the Salt Lake, and that I think was announced in in August, I believe, and that was an extra four hundred and fifty four hundred and sixty hectares. And then at the beginning of this month, about two weeks ago, we announced uh, three weeks ago we announced um, a large block of um, Salt Lake, which is now ours on the northern part of the basin, uh, again, adjacent to Rio Tinto's uh, large resource. So um, those areas are now in permitting. Once we've t- wrapped up uh, drilling on the current uh, mining uh, property, we'll be moving to drilling out those other properties. And uh, ultimately, we'll have a combined resource for all three areas. Wow, a pretty a monumental year uh, for the company coming up, uh, I'd say then too. So uh, certainly a lot to pay attention to. So I guess we'll we'll catch up here in another, uh, I don't know, month or so and uh, talk about some more holes then. So uh, uh, Miles Radout, he's the VPX here, uh, uh, Argentina Lithium LIT Venture Exchange, PNXLF on the OTC markets in the States. Uh, Miles, appreciate that in-depth update. And we'll uh, look forward to checking back in when you have some more news. Thanks very much for the invitation.